Isn't it such a simple word? But I think we can all agree that it has huge meanings and consequences behind it. Who here was reluctant to achieve something, even the smallest thing you wanted, because you overthought many situations in your head about what could happen? If you have, please know that you're not alone, and I will walk you through the process of how not to let your thoughts be in charge of your actions or even dreams. People do not feel safe when there is no logic. Overthinking is actually a mental problem that occurs in such situations. It is associated with uncertainty. It is the art of creating problems that aren't actually real. These problems often form around what if questions, such as what if I fail or what if I regret what I'm doing right now. I believe it is safe to say that people who overthink are people who care. They care about what others think about them about their opinions or about their physical appearance. These negative thoughts led them uh, into being trapped in a cycle of worry. Overthinking is a highly common state of mind. It is actually extremely normal and every human being experiences it from time to time. But it, it is important to be aware of the situation you're in when you're overthinking, I mean, so that it doesn't evolve into anxiety or even depression. There are some ways that could help ease one's mind. The first and probably the most common one is meditating. Many studies have shown that meditating for only 15 minutes for four times a week could change in a better way, of course, um, your perspective of life. But of course, you should have a certain amount of patience to be able to meditate. So if you're unlike me, if you do have that patience, I would say go for it. But if it's hard for you to sit in one place in silent and meditate, you could try to find a distraction, such as taking up a new hobby that you've never tried, or invol involving yourself into something you enjoy doing. That way you could reduce the anxiety from overthinking and have a clear state of mind. When you realize that you're overthinking, you should firstly just take a deep breath and try to calm down and remind yourself that everything is gonna be okay. I know that something that you're overthinking right now could be a big problem of today. But try to look at the bigger picture at that point. Would that issue really be floating around your mind in about a month? Would that issue really be bothering you then? If it won't, don't let minor issues turn into significant hurdles. As humans, we tend to protect ourselves inherently. That causes us to investigate all of the possible options in order to achieve the optimized one when making a decision. However, examining possible options could let us to be biased too. For example, let's say that all of the audience here thinks that Apple produces the best mobile phones. And if I was trying to buy one and consult you guys to take your opinion on the subject, I could be influenced to thinking that Apple is actually the best brand in that field even though it might not be the most suitable choice for me and my personal criteria. This is called the bandwagon effect. The probability, the probability of one person adopting a belief increases by the number of people who hold that belief. That is why overthinking could actually be helpful sometimes. Nevertheless, one should not let anxiety caused by overthinking control their actions or decisions. Overthinking can sometimes so can sometimes help us achieve our goals in life, as I said. Because in that case, we reduce the margin of error by thinking about every possible scenario. Thinking about the bad ones, on the other hand, could cause people to spend their lives in fear of making mistakes. Anxiety, stress, or fear can trigger us to overthink. I started prep class too insecure to talk about anything in front of a class or even a small group. Because when I was in that situation, I was making up a lot of bad scenarios in my head. What if people find me annoying? What if I'm disgraced? Many questions, such as what if I said the wrong thing, was stressing me out so much that my confidence level dropped to zero. So I couldn't appear in front of a group anymore. On my first year here, I had to do a presentation in this conference hall, which was like a literal nightmare to me. Even though I had never spoken in public before, that day I presented Star Trek, which was a TV series I had never seen, with my microphone and indicator. There was only about 20 people there, and now here I am in front of all of you. 
Know that change and self-development is indeed possible. Just never doubt yourself and know that you're enough. Thank you.